Hi everyone, it's a ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. This is the last in our discussion about do you have enough faith? And we're wrapping up wrapping it up with Hebrews chapter 10 verse 23. It says, "Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised." And we're going to just focus on that one scripture because I think it says everything in a nutshell. You know, we looked at um, just so much in the other segments, uh, the other six segments. And so um, this kind of just puts a button at the end or a period at the end for us to hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. What does it mean to hold fast to something? How do you hold fast to something? You cling to it. You 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 um, grab onto it with both hands, um, and it's saying, "Do so without wavering." So you can, you stay the course steadily. We looked at how to get faith. We looked at how to grow in your faith. We looked at examples of faith. We looked at making sure that you're putting your faith and trust in God, and in God's the truth of God's word and that you're not allowing yourself to be deceived um, through believing false doctrine or uh, allowing anybody to twist the word of God or, or water it down. If someone twists the word of God or waters it down, it um, can hinder you from having right faith. And so you want to make sure um, that you know, you go through all of the, that as you look in introspectively, you look inside and do I have enough faith? Do I have enough faith for whatever you're dealing with, whether it be a health issue, whether it be a job situation, whether you're trying to make a, a major purchase and you need finances, whether it has to do with your family, your children, um, uh, just whatever the situation is, this is life, so it can be anything. Um, we uh, have all the, the, the tools and, and the resources we need through the Word of God um, to develop and to build our faith. Um, it talks about why we can hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. It says, for he is faithful that promised. The reason why we can hold fast to it is because of who we're having faith in. We're, because of who God is, because of who the Lord Jesus Christ is, we can have faith 100% because he is faithful. He's faithful to his word and he's faithful to his children, right? And so God um, promised it. We have the word to hold on to. We can hold fast to that word with full confidence in knowing that God knows our needs and he's glad to provide all of our needs. You know, a lot of times um, when you're going through the challenge, that's when it's harder to have faith, to, to, to not waver, especially when it looks impossible and especially when um, you're getting bad news. But that's when you need to um, just go back in, sift through the word, look through your life, look through your heart, and completely surrender it to God and do it the way God says to do it. If, you've, if you're if you following the way God says to do it without compromise, it's impossible for you to fail. You're not going to fail. You're not going to fall. The results will be exactly what the Bible says they will be because the Bible cannot be wrong. Um, so if something isn't going the way it should, you look within you. Look at yourself. Look at your motives. Look at what are you asking for? Is it in alignment with God's ways, with his truth? God sees everything. You're transparent before God. He sees your heart. He sees your motive. He sees your thoughts. He sees the attitude behind the heart. And um, so you got to, you know, go through that. And if you're, everything lines up, sometimes it's waiting. And sometimes um, God is trying to, you know, direct you or, lead you somewhere else. So it depends, you know, every situation is different. And so that's why um, it involves, you know, just taking the time out to really spend that quality time with God in prayer, in praise. Sometimes, 
you know, after you've asked and, you know, made your request to God, you don't need to keep asking, asking, asking. God heard you the first time. Um, he, faith is you ask him and then you surrender and wait. And all that you do is just praise, praise the Lord for it. Come into agreement, sing songs of praise and thanksgiving. And spend that time just praising and thanking God and waiting um, for things to work themselves out. Um, so, beloved, that's it from me for this series. We're going to start on another series tomorrow. I hope you're having an amazing day and a powerful journey in your faith walk. God loves you so much. Take care.